Well, welcome back to the Philly Flower Show. Now, I've got something that's not really eye-catching. It certainly is nose-catching. You can smell it a mile away. And it's kind of difficult at first to work out what's going on here because you've got this design, which I now realize is probably a stump that is rotting away in the woods somewhere. And each one of these little pockets is a, a little birch log and they've grown a mushroom in it. The whole idea of the display though is to show off the importance of fungi in the world and just how important our lives, the life of plants is dependent on these wonderful, well, you can't really call them plants. They're actually more closely aligned to an animal, an animal cell and whatever. But in terms of a display, that kind of fish netting in there, that netting in there must be trying to represent the mycelium, those fingers of the fungi that grow into the soil or the decaying plant material. But what makes this particularly interesting to me is its educational function. All the way around this display are 14 little banners and they tell you the importance of fungi to the world to us and why certain cures like penicillin and whatever have really radically changed the world we live in. So what we just have to be clear is that the mushrooms themselves are only, they're kind of like the flowers that plants have. Most of the um, fungi is actually hidden. You won't see it all. But in terms of importance to the world, you can't beat them. They've been around much longer than we have and they deserve a mention here at the flower show. Well, for something completely different, we left the mushrooms and very interesting that was, but look how eye-catching this display is. And what I particularly like about it is, it actually is a complete garden from the front garden here, which is absolutely jam-packed with shrubs, perennials, lots of annuals. And the house is just a sandwich basically squeezed in here. And around the back, we're gonna have a look in a minute, is the back garden, but a practical garden as well. So if you like color, this is a garden certainly to step by and see. Very formal though, very equal on both sides. Look at that, makes me look a bit asymmetric. But window boxes are great, but look up here. They've got a door box, which is kind of unusual. Very sweet, lovely garden. Let's have a look around the back. Well, if you like the front garden, the back garden is even better. There's all kinds of beautiful designs, containers. The floral designs are fantastic, a little water feature. And the vegetable garden is absolutely beautiful. Vegetable and fruit, I'd say, they're blueberries, and the spaliot apple tree and the little planters, the raised beds there are full of all kinds of edibles. Oh, it's all too much work. I better let uh, Jackie take over and I'll take a few little rest moments. Oh. I'm just chilling here with the DJ Paul at this floral dance party. Do you have any requests? The Bloom Room Disco is the hottest spot at the Philadelphia Flower Show. This DJ with blooming beard is ready to play your favorite rosy requests. The DJ booth, complete with turntables and mixer, is made of mosses, ferns, and other plant material. A kaleidoscope of colorful flowers match the fun interactive tiles on the dance floor. If you look up, the disco ball seems to float amidst the dyed crazy colored mosses dangling from the ceiling. With the speakers pounding music, you couldn't help but hit the dance floor. All that dancing has sure made me hungry. Let's sit down for a bite to eat. And of course, dining al fresco is a must here at the flower show. The tablescape displays are outstanding. This table features a centerpiece filled with sunflowers that pack a colorful punch. There's a wine carafe and pots filled with various plants and herbs. Lanterns hang above guests with purple fabric and grapevine across the top. Truly, la dolce vita. Next, you are invited into a woodland masquerade party. Felted moths, raccoons, and bats are ready to enjoy a moonlight meal. The rustic wood slab table is set with lovely planters with white and shades of green. The chairs are made of logs, perfect for these little mice to climb. The plants surrounding this dinner party are muted shades of salvia, angel wings, and thistle. Who wouldn't want to be a guest at this dinner party? The designer paid amazing attention to detail. There's so much to see. Each place setting is set with the gift of homemade jam for each guest. The colorful flower centerpiece spans the entire table. Its brilliant red, orange, yellow, and burgundy palette shows the bounty of summer. There are flowers in every corner of this display. You can even find vegetables, fruits, and herbs too. 
The chandelier is a grapevine and the tiny yellow birds are ready to serenade the guests. This tablescape is exquisite. Stay with us, we'll be right back with more from the Philadelphia Flower Show.